Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for the session is presenting the slideshow. And the course goal is we learn how to start the slideshow, how to advance and reverse slides, to stop and end the slideshow. And we learn about the presentation tools and features that how to access pen or highlighter while presenting the contents and how to erase the ink marks how to jump to the non adjacent slide and how we can access the desktop during the slideshow and in the last we'll discuss about the slideshow setup options Uh, next proceeding with the introduction PowerPoint offers several tools and features that help to make the presentation smooth engaging and professional we need to know how to start the presentation and we need to know how to advance through the slides so let's discuss about all the operations first of all we'll discuss about starting the slideshow you have two options if you want to start the slideshow one is that you want to start the slideshow from the beginning or from the current slide you have two options available here on the slideshow tab one option is from the beginning and from the current slide if you click on from current slide you'll uh, see the slide which is there on your screen and after that you can access the other slides and the other one is from the beginning click on this from the beginning and you'll get the slideshow from the very first slide so this is how we can run the slideshow there is one more option which is available near to the zoom option this is the slideshow option slideshow click on this and then you will get the slideshow from the current slide then the other option we have is that how do we advance and reverse to these slides that means if we are running the presentation how do we come to the next slide and how do we go back to the previous slide run the slideshow first of all let's say we are we select this from the beginning now with the help of the arrows arrow key you can move the contents or you can move the slides up and down now the okay I'm using the down arrow key and I'm moving to the next slides suppose I want to move to the previous slide then I have to use the up arrow key and in this way I am moving back to the slides with the down arrow key you are moving forward and with the up arrow key you are moving backward to the slide so with the help of the arrow keys you will reverse to through these slides you will move around with these slides okay then the next option is to stop and end the slideshow now as we are running the slideshow we have two options to stop this one is the right click and click on end slideshow and the other option is that press the escape key on your keyboard and it's going to stop the uh, slideshow these are the two options available next we'll discuss about is the presentation tools and features we have few tools available like the access pen or highlighter and we'll discuss about how we can use the pen and highlighter during the slideshow so suppose if you want to use if you want to highlight some content on your presentation or if you want to use a pen for doing that you need to right click on the screen right click anywhere and you will get the pointer options you have two options here pen and highlighter click on pen now with the help of this you can indicate the contents now again if you want to select the highlighter pointer options and select highlighter this is the highlighter you can 
place it anywhere on the screen on the image or if anything is uh, written and you want to highlight it you can use this as well instead of the arrow keys so this is how you can show the contents here this is how we can use or we can uh, we can access the pen or the highlighter then other one is to erase the ink mark suppose while using it we have used the pen and we have indicated certain contents in this way you can mark for some values also you can place your pen and you can drag it you can make the lines so you can uh, if you want to write something you want to make certain marks you can do it with the help of the pen I don't have the mouse right now and uh, I'm finding it a bit difficult to do it with the uh, with the mouse pad I have but otherwise we do have the option you place your cursor there and with the help of the mouse you drag it outwards so this is how you can write with your pen and the other option is to erase the ink mark suppose we have ink marks available on the entire slide and now we want to remove it we right click on the slide and then in the pointer options you will get the option erase or erase all ink mark on the slide click on the erase you will get the eraser and again with the help of the eraser you can do it erase it we do have multiple points here you can erase it or alternatively select the option under pointer option erase all ink on all yeah on the slide so it's going to remove all the marks fine so uh, moving forward uh, the other option is that how do we jump to a non adjacent slide suppose if we want to move to the previous slide with the help of the arrow keys we can do that with the help of the down arrow or the up arrow key then if you want to move to the non adjacent slides then right click on the screen go to slide and you can select the slide number on which you want to move to slide 2 for example we'll go to the second slide now right click again go to the slide we want to move to the course goal we are back here again so in this way you can move to the non adjacent slides then how do you access the desktop right click anywhere on the screen then you have an option here screen select this and click on switch program you click here and you will get a taskbar in the bottom of the screen with the help of the taskbar you can select the programs that are open up and you can access the desktop you can open any of the file from here so this is how these are the options available these are the tools available which you can use while running the slideshow then next we are going to discuss about the slideshow setup option let's go back to the window again okay we are back here and now we are going to discuss about the slideshow setup options this is the option setup slideshow you click here and you will get a lot of options here show type presented by the speaker full screen or browsed by an individual window browsed by so these are certain options available that you can use the default option selected is the full screen and presented by the speaker this is the default option that we used to do the next is uh, show option loose loop continuously till escape if you select this then your presentation that is um, like after the last slide then it's going to loop again it's going to show you the first slide once again and it will keep looping until you press the escape key then show without narration show with animation these are some options available you have applied certain animation in your uh, slides but you don't want them to play so instead of removing all the animation what you can do is you can place a check mark here show without animation click on ok and run the slideshow 
then this is the option available pen color and the laser pointer color that we have just seen then show slides all or from any number you can customize the shows as well I'll show you how you can customize these show okay so advances slide how do you want to advance through the slide one option is that manually you always do it manually and other one is use timing if present it means if we have allocated some timing to the slides suppose this particular slide is going to be last for five seconds and then another for five seconds in this way if the timings are available it's going to take the timings otherwise manually you have to proceed with the slides means with the help of the arrow key or with the help of the mouse then we do have the multiple monitors this option available if you are working with the dual monitor then only this option would be highlighted and you can make few changes that how you want to show the uh, slideshow so these are the options available to customize or to set up the slideshow let's check the other options also which are available we have uh, discussed about the from beginning from current slide then we have broadcast slideshow that we'll take in the different session and custom slideshow yeah this is also um, an interesting feature once you click on the custom slideshow and click on custom shows create a new one now suppose you have 10 or 15 slides available here and you want to customize your show you don't want to show all these slides during the presentation so what you can do is you can select few of the slides for example let me add few slides here okay I have added three slides here and slideshow name is custom show 2 you can rename that as well mm. let's name it uh, slide show custom click on ok now close now you have two options available if you are going to uh, select this option from the beginning it's going to show you all these seven slides and if you want to show only those three slides which we have selected then click on customize slideshow and select slideshow custom the same show that we have customized once you click on this it's going to show you the selected slides only this one is the slide that we have selected then click on next presenting slideshow and thank you that's it so these were the three slides that we have customized so this is one of the option you can create as it's mentioned here that the custom slideshow display only the slides you select this enable you to create several different shows for example a 30 minute show or a 60 minute show within the same presentation selecting the by selecting the contents you can create multiple shows to present to the different viewers also setup slideshow we have already discussed hide slide this is an option uh, available it's going to hide the particular slide once you are going to show the uh, presentation you are going to run the slideshow it's not going to show you that particular uh, slide in the presentation hide slide we have yeah we have made that hidden this this slide the last one thank you if you're going to run the slideshow now it's not going to show you the last slide after introduction and slideshow it's not showing you the last one click on this once again and it's going to show you the slide again then we have two options available rehearse timing and record slideshow with the rehearse timing it's just like you're presenting it 
uh, is just like a timer like when we are running around and we set the timing for ourselves that we need to complete the race in 10 seconds or 20 seconds it's just like that we are rehearsing for the presentation you can try narrating it with along with the contents which are there in your slideshow and then you will come to know that how much time it's taking while narrating the slideshow so it's showing you the message now the time the total time for the slideshow was 29 seconds do you want to keep the new slide timing to use when you view the slideshow you have two options available now suppose we click on yes so it's showing you the timings now that how you have uh, created it now let's start the slideshow from the beginning now it's coming by its own I'm not uh, like advancing these slides is just advances as we have created the uh, rehearse timing thing then the second option is record the slideshow click here and you have the option start recording from the beginning or the current slideshow from the beginning says it give you two options now select what do you want to record before you begin recording one is the slide and animation and other is narration and laser pointer and the total time for the slideshow was seven seconds do you want to keep the slide timing new slide timing or you use when you view the slideshow click on yes now it's showing you the new timing if you are going to run the slideshow now it has allocated few seconds or uh, the rehearse timing with your slides so if you're going to run the slideshow now you just have to click on this that's it now it's going to advance these slides on its own you need not to do anything you have already re rehearsed it and yeah that's how it work and if you want to make the slideshow manual once again then again what you have to do is uh, remove the timing record slideshow clear clear timing on all slides timing is cleared now if you're going to run the slideshow then you have to do it manually now with the help of the arrow key you can move further yeah, this is how with the help of the arrow key I'm doing it now let's go back come back to the normal view again so this is how the slideshow options work we have few more options here like play narration you can record narration and gesture using the record slideshow then use timings you can record slides and animation timing using rehearse timing or record the slideshow show play control when you move the pointer over audio and video clips during the slideshow so these are the options available suppose if you are not using it use timing and then you run the slideshow then it's not going to use the timing that we have recorded in the rehearse timing so this is how uh, all the options work for the slideshow and you can play with these options that how you can make your presentation a good presentation we do have other option available the monitors but this particular group this has been used only when you create when you attach when you have a dual monitor set use current resolution or you want to change the resolution so once another monitor is connected to your uh, system then you use this group so that was it for today's session uh, we have discussed about the slide slideshow that how we can set up the slideshow what are the options available how do we use the pen the pointers the highlighters so I hope you understand that uh, how we can set up the slideshow, how we can run it, how do we use the pointers etc. So that was it for today's session. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Adjupedia World videos.